my perspective shifted from looking at him, looking at Ray, or looking at these people that live in the buildings from just old people or elderly people, um, people who are so much different than I am, to, oh my goodness, it's like I'm enjoying these conversations with Ray and these people in the buildings, um, maybe even more than the conversations that I'm having with my friends. Um, I remember the first guy moving into the building, his name was Ray. And, and um, fallen at home and broke his hip and um, was in one of those negative situations where he didn't want to necessarily move from his, his home, um, but due to just kind of the the needs that he had in terms of like day-to-day -day care he mm -hmm. couldn't live at home anymore mm -hmm. and so this guy moved into the building and um i remember like at first you know i was kind of clumsy i was kind of awkward around him it was my first job trying to figure out how to serve food to this 93 year old man didn't really talk or interact too too much over the first couple of days um after those first couple of days you know i started to have kind of like small talk with him you know five, 10 minute conversations. Cause again, he was the only guy in the dining room. I was the only guy in the dietary department. Right. And so, um, you know, it would, it kind of built up over time where, you know, those 10 minute conversations would turn into 20 minute conversations, you know, and he would tell me something the day before and I would ask him, you know, about how the pirate game was on TV or something like that the next day. And those conversations would turn from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to an hour um, to two hours to at a certain point, he was still the only one who was living in the building. And I was um, serving him breakfast. And again, I was the only employee in the dietary department. So I would literally just serve him and I would sit there and I would talk to him from the time that he would eat breakfast until it was time for lunch. Wow. Because I would do the two shifts and we would literally sit there and we would have these like these conversations that like changed my life in so many ways um, because my perspective shifted from looking at him, looking at Ray or looking at these people that live in the buildings from just old people or elderly people, um, people who are so much different than I am to, oh my goodness, it's like I'm enjoying these conversations with Ray and these people in the buildings, um, maybe even more than the conversations that I'm having with my friends, right. because there's so much depth. There's so much context to the stories that they're telling me. There's so much to it. And I remember it really kind of just like tugging on my, my heart because I'm like, Oh man, these people like, they want somebody to talk to. They just want to hang They're They're like trying to do the same thing that, um, you know, fast forward five years, my buddies and I are doing in college, you know, right, they just right. want to sit and kind of shoot the breeze. Um, right. And so it, I think that that was a really important thing for me um, really early on to kind of like develop that connection um, with people. Um, and I say that that's a really important thing that I developed really early on, especially because I have entrepreneurial pursuits kind of of my own down the line. And so it really made me understand like how important that like that employee to client or staff to customer relationship is. And it, I always say it sounds cheesy, but it literally gave me like a degree in interacting with people and talking with people. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a, such a different phase of life and just something that's so much different than what I could have ever really been exposed to if I just would have stayed within the confines of my 15 year old or high school buddies, you know? Yeah, man, that, I think it's coming from a place where, you know, you, like you said, you're just chilling with your friends all the time to come into the opposite spectrum, which is like somebody who's at the end of their life. I mean, you get a yep. whole brand new perspective and it, it sounds like that also solidified, like maybe you began to understand what the business was really about and like, it's really about these people at the end of the day. And like this housing is for this type of person that needs these interactions, which is all facilitated by the company in a way. 100%. Um, and that to me, you kind of hit it right on the head. Um, 
that is the most important thing. You know, I went on to do um, so many different positions for him and his company. I worked in um, from dietary, I worked in housekeeping. Um, and I did these for like long stints of time, not just like a, a two weeks and just to say you did it. Right. Um, I was really like gun ho about like learning like, okay, what is this position? What does this position do? And why the heck do we have these people in the building doing what they do? Right. Um, you know, so I worked in housekeeping. Um, I worked in, as a maintenance assistant for a summer. Um, I worked as a receptionist in one of the buildings for probably six months. Um, and then I worked in the nursing department, which is, you know, to me, the most valuable and important aspect of, of what our business does, which is really the people who are taking care of the people. Mm -hmm. So I worked as a resident care aide where I was in, you know, their apartments, I was in their rooms, you know, helping them take care of them. I worked as a med tech, which is basically a resident aide. Um, it's not a nurse. It's somebody who's basically an aide um, who can pass medications to people. And then I worked as uh, another really eye-opening experience for me was working as a, um, as a hospice aide. And so that's people who are near the end of their life and are, you know, within six months uh, generally uh, of passing away. Wow. Um, and I was the one yeah. who was, you know, taking care of the people, showering them, getting them dressed, bathing, you know, the whole nine yards was responsible for all of that. Um, and so it gave me, like you said, you know, just this really cool perspective on not necessarily um, the elderly population, but like what really ends up mattering to people a lot of times um, at the end of the day and gave me that real kind of visceral connection to our business right. and our customers and you know, why what we're doing is special.